Scalping. Small, quick profits can add up. Scalping is a trading style that specializes in profiting off of small price changes and making a fast profit off reselling. In day trading, scalping is a term for a strategy to prioritize making high volumes off small profits. Scalping requires a trader to have a strict exit strategy because one large loss could eliminate the many small gains the trader worked to obtain. Thus, having the right tools such as a live feed, direct access brokers, and a stanima to place many trades is required for this strategy to be successful. This video is about the strategy, the different types of scalping, and the tips on how to use this style of trading. How stock scalping works. Scalping is based on an assumption that most stocks will complete the first stage of a movement, but where it goes from there is uncertain. After the initial stage, some stocks cease to advance while others continue to advance. A discounter intends to take as many small profits as possible. This is the possible opposite of let your profits run mindset which attempts to optimize positive trading results by increasing the size of winning trades. This strategy achieves results by increasing the number of winners and sacrificing the size of the wins. It's not uncommon for a trader with a longer time frame to achieve positive results by winning only half or even less of the trades. It's just that wins are much bigger than losses. A successful stock scalper, however, will have a much higher ratio of winning trades versus losing ones while keeping profits roughly equal or slightly bigger than losses. The main premise of scalping are lessened exposure limit risk. A brief exposure to the market diminishes the probability of running into an adverse event. Smaller moves are easier to attain. A bigger imbalance of supply and demand is needed to warrant bigger price changes. For example, it's easier for a stock to make 0.01 move than it is to make a $1 move. Smaller moves are more frequent than larger ones. Even during relative quiet markets, there are many small movements a scalper can exploit. Scalping can be adapted as a primary or supplementary style of trading. Spreads in scalping versus normal trading scalping. When scalpers trade, they want to profit off the change in a securities bid-ask spread. That's the difference between the price of a broker will buy a security from a scalper, the bid price, and the price the broker will sell it, the ask price, to the scalper. So the scalper is looking for a narrow spread. But in normal circumstances, trading is fairly consistent and can allow for steady profits. That's because the spread between the bid and ask is also steady. Supply and demand for securities is balanced. Scalping as a primary trading style. A pure scalper will make a number of trades each day, perhaps in the hundreds. A scalper will mostly utilize tick or one minute charts since the time frame is small and they need to see the setups as they take shape as close to real time as possible. Supporting systems such as direct access trading, DAT, and level two quotations are essential for this type of trading. Automatic instant execution of orders is crucial to a scalper, so a direct access broker is the preferred method. Scalping as a supplementary style. Traders with longer time frames can use scalping as a supplementary approach. The most obvious way is to use when the market is choppy or locked in a narrow range. When there are no trends in a longer time frame, going to a shorter time frame can reveal a visible and exploitable trends which can lead a trader to pursue a scalp. Another way to add scalping to longer time frames is through the so-called umbrella concept. This approach allows a trader to improve their cost basis and maximize a profit. Umbrella trades are done in the following way. A trader initiates a position for a longer time frame trade. While the main trade develops, a trader identifies new setups in a shorter time frame in the direction of the main trend, entering and exiting them by the principle of scalping. Based on the particular setups, any trading system can be used for the purpose of scalping. In this regard, scalping can be seen as a kind of risk management method. Basically, any trade can be turned into a scalp by taking a profit near the one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. This means the size of profits taken when equals the size stop dictated by the setup. If, for instance, a trader enters his or her position for a scalp trade at $20 with an initial stop at $19.90, the risk is $0.10. Cents. This means a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio will be reached 
at 20.10. Scalp traders can be executed on both long and short sides. They can be done on breakouts and in range bound trading. Many traditional chart formations such as cups and handles or triangles can be used for scalping. The same can be said about technical indicators if a trader bases decisions on them. Scalping strategies. The first type of scalping is referred to as market making where a scalper tries to capitalize on the spread simultaneously posting a bid and an offer for a specific stock. Obviously, this strategy can be succeed only on mostly immobile stocks that can trade big volumes without a real price change. This kind of scalping is immensely hard to do successfully because a trader must compete with market makers for the shares on both bids and offers. Also, the profit is so small that the stock moving against the trader's position warrants a loss exceeding their original profit target. The other two styles are based on more traditional posts and requires a moving stock which requires a change rapidly. These two styles also require sound strategy and methods of reading the movement. The second type of scalping is done by purchasing a large number of shares that are sold for a gain on a very small price movement. A trader of this style will enter in position for several thousand shares and wait for a small move which is usually measured in cents. Such an approach requires a highly liquid stock to allow for entering and exiting three to 10,000 shares easily. The third type of scalping is considered to be closer to the traditional methods of trading. A trader enters a specific amount of shares on any setup or signal from their system and closes the position as soon as the first exit is generated near the one to one risk reward ratio. Tips for the novice scalpers. With low barriers to entry in the trading world, the number of people trying their hands at day trading and other strategies including scalping has increased. Newcomers to scalping need to make sure the trading style suits their personality because it requires a disciplined approach. Traders need to make quick decisions, spot opportunities, and constantly monitor the screen. Those who are impatient and feel gratified by picking small successful trades are perfect for scalping. That said, scalping is not best trading strategy for rookies. It involves fast decision making, constant monitoring of positions, and frequent turnover. Still, there are a few tips that can help novice scalpers. Order execution. A novice needs to master the art of an efficient ordered execution. A delayed or bad order can wipe out what little profit was earned and even result in a loss. Since the profit margin per trade is limited, the order execution has to be accurate. As mentioned above, this requires supporting systems such as direct access trading and level 2 quotations. Frequency and cost. A novice scalper has to make sure to keep the cost in mind while making trades. Scalping involves numerous trades as many hundreds during a trading session. Frequent buying and selling are bound to be costly in terms of commissions which can shrink the profit. This makes it crucial to be choose the right online broker. The broker should not only provide requests like direct access to markets but also competitive commissions and remember not all brokers allow scalping. Trading. Spotting the trend and momentum comes in handy for a scalper who can even enter and exit briefly to repeat a pattern. A novice needs to understand the market pulse and once the scalper has identified that trend, trading and momentum trading can help achieve more profitable trades. Another strategy used by scalpers is counter trend, but beginners should avoid using this strategy and stick to trading with the trend. Trading size. Beginners are usually more comfortable with trading on the buy side and should stick to it before they gain significant confidence and ex expertise to handle the short side. However, scalpers must eventually balance long and short trades for the best results. Technical analysis. Novices should equip themselves with the basis of technical analysis to combat increasing competition in intraday world. This is especially relevant in today's markets which are dominated by high frequency trading. HFT, not to mention the majority of trades now take place away from the exchanges in dark pools that don't report in real time. Since scalpers can no longer rely on real time market death analysis to get signals, they need to book multiple small profits in a typical trading range. It's recommended they use technical indicators that are, are intended for very small time frames. There are technical indicators that are ideal for short-term opportunities, moving average, ribbon entry strategy, relative strength, weakness exit strategy, and multiple chart scalping. One technical indicator that is appropriate for scalping trading strategy is called multiple chart scalping. 
First, create a 15-minute chart without any indicators that you can use to keep track of any background conditions that it could impact your intraday performance. Then add three lines, one for the opening point and two for the high and low for the trading range that is set up in the first 45 to 90 minutes of the session. Watch the price action at those levels. They will also set up larger scale two minute buy or sell signal. Your greater profits during the trading day will come when scalps align with support and resistance levels on the 15 minute, 60 minute or daily charts. Volume. As a technique, scalping requires frequent entry and exit decisions within a short time frame. Such a strategy can only be successful implemented when orders can be filled and this depends on liquidity levels. High volume trades offer much needed liquidity. Discipline. As a rule, it's best to close all positions during a day's trading session and not carry them over to the next day. Scalping is based on small opportunities that exist in the market and a scalper should not deviate from the basic principle of holding a position for a short period of time. Pros and cons of stop scalping. If a trader is able to implement a strict exit strategy, one of the biggest advantages of scalping is that it can be very profitable. Scalpers can leverage small changes in the price of stock that may not necessarily reflect the overall trend of the commodities price for the day. Scalpers also do not have to follow basic fundamentals because they don't play a significant role when dealing with only a very short time frame. For this reason, traders don't need to know much about the stock. Another major advantage of the strategy is that there is very little market risk involved. It is designed to limit the losses from only one stock by making tight leverage and stop loss points. Scalping is also non-directional, so the markets do not need to be moving in a certain direction in order to take advantage of it. It works when markets are moving up and down. Finally, many scalping strategies are easily automated within the trading system and is being used because they are usually based on a series of technical criteria. However, there are also drawbacks to using scalping as trading strategy. First and foremost, scalping involves a maximum number of trades compared to other strategies. Opening a large number of trades comes with higher transaction costs because you are paying a commission on every trade. With scalping, you have to take advantage of high amounts of trades to generate enough profits. For some traders, the risk of just generating small profits is not worth it. Some scalpers make dozens or hundreds of trades a day. This strategy can be very time consuming and requires high levels of concentration. Pros of stock scalping can be very profitable if executed precisely and with strict exit strategy. Many opportunities leverage small changes in the price of a stock. Do not have to follow basic fundamentals. Very little market risk involved. Non-directional strategy can be used when the market is going up or down. Can easily be automated within the trading system that is being used. Cons of stock scalping. High transaction costs for participants. Requires great greater leverage to make a profit. Can be time consuming strategy that requires high levels of concentration. Need to make dozens or hundreds of trades per day to see a profit. Is stock scalping illegal? Stock scalping is a legal trading strategy. It's used both on retail and institutional investors. However, it can also be fraudulently as has been noted by the SEC, such as when a market participant recommends a stock so as to cause a price to spike and then sells it at an inflated price to generate profits. Can you make money scalping stocks? Yes, you can make money scalping stocks, although scalping sacrifices the size of winning trades. It massively increases the ratio of winning trades to losing ones. However, some traders prefer different strategies that allow them to partake in bigger wins. With scalping, traders take lots of small wins quickly in order to minimize risk, which means that in a pursuit of small wins, they miss out on bigger wins. How do I choose stock for scalping? Scalpers typically make trading decisions based on three different factors. First, they set a target price amount per trade. This amount is relative to the size of the price of the stock, although most scalpers look for gains in the 10 cents to 25 cent range. Scalpers also use the level two quotation to follow that breakout to new intraday high or lows in order to capture as much profit as pof- possible. However, to successfully execute this approach, you need to maintain a focus for extended periods of time and have the highest level of order execution. Finally, scalpers trend spot, follow the news and spot the trends that may cause a security to become volatile. This allows them to create a watch list of hot stocks that are likely to experience price movements. 
What are some scalping trading strategies? There are many scalping strategy. One strategy is known as market making. With this strategy, the trader aims to capitalize on the bid ask spread by putting out a bid and making an offer for the same stock at the same time. This strategy is best employed with stocks that are not showing any real price changes. Another strategy entails a larger number of shares and then selling them for a profit with a tiny price movement. For example, a trader might enter a position for thousands of shares and wait for a tiny price movement to occur. This movement can be as little as a few cents. A third set strategy resembles a traditional day trading strategy. A trader enters in an amount of shares on a single system or setup and exits the position as soon as a single is generated near the risk reward ratio of one to one. At the point of profit equals the size of the scalp of stock. For example, if a trader enters a position at $20 with a stop at $19.90, the risk is $0.10. Cents. A risk-reward ratio of 1 to 1 will be re reached at 20.10. The bottom line, if you are interested in day trading, you should educate yourself about scalping. Scalping can be very proper for traders who decide to use it as primary strategy or even those who use it to supplement other types of trading. Adhering to strict exit strategy is the key to making small Profits compound into larger gains. The brief amount of market exposure and the frequency of small moves are key attributes, are reasons why this strategy is popular among many types of traders. You know the catchphrase. Study it. Analyze it. Adapt it. Peace.